case you'll not only be voting for the next president, but also some important statewide amendments, we want to make sure you know what you're voting for because Amendment 14 could drastically impact people all across the state of Alabama. There are a list of bills impacted by Amendment 14. A lot of these are taxes in each county that help fund everything from education to community hospitals. It was somewhat of an unwritten rule that lawmakers would only vote on local bills affecting their district. Well, this is far below the number of votes required by the Constitution. For example, the Chilton County Hospital vote that sent tax money to fund the new hospital, only the legislators representing that area voted on it. If Amendment 14 doesn't pass, that's one of the bills that will be thrown out. You can't undo things financially. You know, you can't go back and unsell a bond. You know, and so that's in this case, you would have to actually say that that the bonds that were set aside for the hospitals that have 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 floated bonds, you have to try to figure out a way to go back and give all those bondholders their money. You have to go back and it just it just would cause as you state of chaos and there's no need to do that. That state representative Oliver Robertson, a yes on Amendment 14 would mean it's okay that hundreds of bills passed over the past two decades, even though representatives weren't exactly following the books with how to vote. New this morning.